Valerie and I have a bunch of little pieces of ceramic glued to my teeth and bound together with wire because science. I have been putting off getting braces for years and years and years. Um, mostly because acting, I had stuff I needed to do and I didn't want to mess with it and also just procrastination. It first started to be a thing actually when I was in college because TMJ. And that was the first time a dentist said to me, you know, you should maybe get an orthodontist to look at this. Maybe they can fix it before it gets much worse. Well, you know, fast forward low these many years later, I'm finally doing that. I had these put on in April. It's now beginning of September, so it's been almost five months. And the number of people who have said to me, oh, you're gonna be so glad you did it. Yes, I am. Mainly because my dentist will then be able to fill a cavity that right now he can't get at because of the way my teeth overlap. And I don't like the assumption that it's just an aesthetic thing, but at the same time, at the same time, I don't like feeling like, oh, I have to defend it as yes, this is medically necessary. This whole process has been really interesting to me. Uh, first of all, I've only right now got the uppers on and I did go with what they call the clear ceramic, which is really just translucent white. So basically they blend in with my teeth which is one of the reasons people really don't notice them a lot of the time unless I point it out because really all that's gonna be noticeable is the wire and right now I have a pretty thin wire on it. it I've had thicker wires at different times. He's changed it a couple of different times. But for the most part, people don't notice them all that much, which is the main thing making me go, man, I should have done this so much sooner because getting in the way of my acting work was the main, one of the main reasons I kept putting it off. I keep, keep thinking that the next time I go in, I'm going to have the lowers put on. He wants things to be moved to a certain position before he does that. So when I first started this, he said, oh yeah, we should be able to get you done in about a year. And he hasn't changed that estimate, but I, here I am more than a third of the way through that and there's nothing on the bottom still. So I hope that's still gonna be the case. I can see where it still could be. One of the things that has surprised me is how fast they will change, how fast they will move. A couple adjustments ago, he actually left this one front tooth on the left, he actually left the wire off of it so it was out of the system entirely while the other ones were moving and shifting. And that was weird. It wasn't even until a few years ago when I finally had my wisdom teeth out in my 30s after the dentist said, you know, a couple of those are impacted, right? And like, no, actually I didn't know that. So yeah, we should probably do something about that. And that did relieve some of the crowding to the point where for the first time in my life, there was not a watertight seal between my two front teeth. And I, the first time I actually felt water go between my teeth, it was the weirdest thing ever. The wax that they give you, you know, they, they, they give you this wax that you put on to keep things from jabbing the inside of your mouth. This is going to be your new best friend. This is what the, the tech said at the orthodontist office the first day I was in. This is your new best friend. And then I had people say, oh, you're going to have a, such a hard time chewing. You know, these particular soft foods are your new best friend. My new best friend is my water pick because the first week trying to thread dental floss behind the wires and then floss which flossing my teeth has always been a nightmare anyway because they're so tight and you know, I'll get in there and snap the, the floss half the time. And water pick, so much easier. It makes my life so much easier and I'm going to continue to use it when my braces are gone because it makes me happy. The lisp, oh my goodness. Articulation is the weirdest thing. One thing that is kind of central to me is being able to articulate things very precisely. I'm a classical actor, I'm a classical singer, I do accents. I'm always very conscious of what my tongue and my teeth and my jaw are doing in the process of producing vocal sounds. And the first time my front teeth shifted such that I had a noticeable lisp I sort of noticed it while I was talking, but what I really noticed it was I was recording a voiceover 
And I went to edit it and went, oh my God, I can't use this. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. And I had to wait like a week. All of the habits that I have for articulation and for where I place the tip of my tongue in order to articulate things precisely now has to be all readjusted. And all of those things that are second nature to me that are trained into the way that I speak and the way that I sing have to change. The first week, and this tells you something about my acting and also my costuming life, that like the first week, the strange feeling of it, my brain kept interpreting as, oh, we're wearing fangs. I had this whole saga of finding an orthodontist who would see adults who took my insurance. So by the time I found that, I'm like, please, let's just get this started. So on the day that I thought would just be the consultation, he said, well, we can start this today if you want. And I said, yes, go for it, absolutely. And then on my way home past Portillo's and realized that maybe I should have said, can you give me 45 minutes to go have a cheeseburger? Actually, the thing that I miss the most is crunchy veggies. I want to eat carrots and celery so badly, it is ridiculous. So like the day that I get these off, I swear, first I'm gonna go to Portillo's and have a cheeseburger and then I'm gonna get a whole bunch of rabbit food and just chow down on it. Crunch, 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 crunch. Can't wait. And my adventure probably isn't really gonna start until I have the lower brackets on because all of the things that people talk about where they can't get their back molars to meet so they can't really chew things. Or my voice teacher keeps asking me, have you got the rubber bands? Cause that affects how much you can open your jaw to sing. And all of that is stuff that happens when you have the lower brackets on. So we'll see what happens with that. I have a feeling I've really had it easy up until now. I have hardly used any wax. I haven't had hardly any pain to speak of. It'll be sore for maybe a couple of hours after they get adjusted. I don't know if it's just like the inside of my mouth is not that sensitive, whatever, but I'm thankful for it and I hope it continues. So have you had braces? Do you have any advice for me? Do you have any particular questions about my experience? Anything else that you wanna hear about, let me know in the comments below. And of course, like, subscribe, hit me up on social media, all those good things that keep YouTube a rolling. And until next time, bye-bye.